So on April 12th, 2022, Hardy released an online video showcasing their new Sportster model called the Nightster, and they titled the video Instrument of Expression. And they start the video out with a quote from Willie G. Davidson stating that everything we do is the notion that form follows function, but both report to emotion. And as usual, the video was highly produced and in my opinion, lacked information that the average everyday rider would want to know. So in this video, we're gonna break it down and tell you what you need to know as an average everyday rider about the event and the Nystra itself and I have got a lot to throw at you, so hang on tight. Welcome back, bikeaholics. Ryan Urlacher here, lawabidingbiker.com. I always thank you, that's right, you, for checking back in. So the video starts in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin at the Product Development Center with Ben McGinley, Director of Design, and Ashley Neiman, Lead Styling and Design, and Kyle Wick, Chief Engineer going over the bike and we'll get into all that in just a minute. So as I said, the video was highly produced and really the majority of the video was focusing on custom bike builders from around the world. And I'll just briefly mention the custom bike builders that they did feature. First was Charlie Stockwell of Stockwell Design from London. Number two was Jody and Dave Perowitz from Halifax, Massachusetts. Third was Brandon Holstein, the speed merchant from Long Beach, California. Fourth was Kim and Andres Burgerforth from Hammond Kiln, Germany. And last was Hidea Togashi from Tokyo, Japan. And they did feature a couple riders. That's Kyle and Cody Ives of Pavo, Georgia, riding the Wall of Death. So now let's dive into what this bike is all about. And so like the Pan America and the Sportster S, the Nightster is coming with the new Revolution Max engine. However, it's a 975cc version and they're calling it the 975T. And the bike is actually built around the engine, making the engine part of the frame. And also like the other Revolution Max engines, it has variable valve timing. And the weight of the Nightster is only 485 pounds, which is 80 pounds lighter than current Sportsters of today. And with that 975T engine, it is going to be a little ripper and I cannot wait to ride it. And to cram that engine in a small frame and to keep that iconic Sportster look, they actually made the gas tank, the air box, and the actual fuel tank now sits underneath the seat. And a huge benefit of putting the fuel tank under the seat is that it lowers the center of gravity, making the bike feel lighter, better balanced, and more maneuverable. And they've increased the lean angle on both sides of the bike from three to five degrees compared to other Sportster models. All right, and just real quick, we'll get back into your video. As you can imagine, a lot of man hours and expenses go into keeping this channel going strong. There is a way you can support us by becoming a patron member. I will link to it in the description below. There are benefits for becoming a member, such as t-shirts and stickers. You get access to the private Facebook group, which is a troll-free zone. It is nothing but bikers helping bikers. Access to live video broadcasts and chat, podcasts early, premium videos, and access to those ride, meetup, and events. We appreciate your support. Now let's get back into your video. And very exciting, this bike is coming with three ride modes, rain, road, and sport, and it comes stock with traction control and ABS that adjusts to each ride mode, and better yet, it comes with drag, torque, slip control. And I was very surprised that they added all this ride technology to the Nightster, which is a Sportster model and kept it at a reasonable price point, which we'll get to a little bit later. And this engine is supposed to be a little rever and you can run it out to 9,000 RPM. They've designed the Nightster with customization in mind that will allow riders and builders to make this bike their own. One example is they've used separate risers, allowing for custom handlebar installs. So let's dive in even deeper into some of the specifications of this new Nightster. And the Nightster is equipped with a 19 inch front wheel and a 16 inch rear wheel, and the tires were selected for nimble performance and distinctive style. Oh, and both front and back wheel are aluminum cast satin black. 
And if you look at the front, it's coming with that very small wind deflector uh, that comes on bikes like my Dyna Lowrider S or like you've seen in Sons of Anarchy. And it also has exposed rear shocks modeled after previous Sportster chassis, providing an iconic style line to the rear of the bike. And the nicer coming with a six speed transmission and that fuel tank under the seat is 3.1 gallons and they're saying it gets 52 miles per gallon. And looking at the right side of the bike, it's coming with two into one exhaust. And yes, it's very nice. It's coming with LED headlight, tail lights, and turn signals. And the nicer is coming with 41 millimeter Showa front forks and single disc brakes, both front and rear. And it's coming with a four inch round analog speedometer and everything else is in digital format in a segmented LCD. Now this is a water cooled engine and there is that big radiator sitting up front. Now I've never been a big fan of that, but with these new high performance engines, it's necessary and I honestly think it's just something that we're all gonna have to get used to and likely the future of Harley Davidson. And the bike coming in three different colors, vivid black, gunship gray, which is my favorite, and then there's red line red. The bike comes with a solo seat and it is not set up for a passenger. So pricing, the nights are starting at 13,500, which is very competitive if you compare it to a bike like the Indian Chief that's coming in at 15,000 or the Indian Chief Bobber at 16,500. Oh, and make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell icon every time those are hit. Another biker joins a revolution and we would love to have you be part of it. So Harley is flying me down to Southern California later in April to test ride and review the new Nightster. So make sure you're subscribed so that you're notified because I will be releasing a video on that. Um, additionally, while I'm down there, I'm actually going to test ride and review a Lowrider ST and I'll also be releasing that video on the channel. Additionally, Hardy sending us a uh, Street Glide ST, and we're gonna be able to keep it for 30 days, test and review it, and certainly we'll be releasing that on this channel too. And with that said, Harley never tells me what I can or cannot say about a particular bike, and as you've come to expect from this channel, you're gonna get an honest review. Oh, and just a reminder, when we hit 200K subscribers, I'm gonna release my full Sturgis documentary right here on this channel. And if you want to get it early, you can get it at lawabidingbiker.com forward slash ride dash now. I will link to it in the description below. It's a simple $7.95 and I think you'll really enjoy it. And all in all, I'm very impressed with the new Nightster. I think Hardy did a very good job designing and building it, but the true test is when I'll get to see it in person and test ride it. All right, your journey's not done on the channel. I'm popping a couple videos on the screen here for you. Hopefully something useful or entertaining. Heck, maybe both. At any rate, when you're done watching videos, make sure you get out there and ride every chance you get, Bikeaholics. Peace.